Hey, how's it going? I'm Links, and today, oh boy, we got a lot to talk about. Um, a lot of information came out while I was at work, but yeah, before I go into like the maintenance update, um, they released the winner for the uh, fan art contest, and I mean, obviously, it's this one. Everyone knew it, this was gonna win, so personally, I was hoping for like a Sigurd costume, but you know. The Simps one, I guess. <laughs> the Simps one. <laughs> Alright. Um, next up we got the global maintenance news here. So, Tarmel is coming to global tomorrow. Um, it's a very, very broken unit. Like, very broken. Um, well, his grace is very broken, so... Every time he gets hit uh, with attack, he heals back 30% of the damage he takes. This also stacks with recovery rate, so you can just stack a bunch of recovery rate on units and, like, never die. <laughs> be, just be prepared to face that in, glo in uh, global PvP soon. Um, uh, but additionally to this thing, he also has, like, if he... At or if anyone who possesses this grace gets attacked two times or more, the attacker will... Um, we get a debuff that uh, nullifies the effect of all skills, including ultimate moves, uh, for two turns. Which is basically the 6-6 six, six Margaret ult, or 6-6 six, six Ludo Margaret alt effect. Um, and I'm, I think some other units also have it on their cards, but... That's a pretty broken thing, just to be able to slap onto literally any unit. And, it's also, and they're also getting their Holy Relics, but we'll look at the Holy Relics soon. So, yeah, we got this animation here. Uh, so new cosmetics, that's nice. So new Broken Holy Relics, and I'm really looking forward to this old uh, Tarmel one. Just to make some Broken Stance team with, like, uh, the Green Sariel, uh, Terry, uh, Esterosa. Things like that, because they're going to do 30% more counter damage, and they're also going to take 20% less damage. I guess with um, Chandler, this is going to be kind of bad for him because he the, the more damage he takes, the more damage he dishes out. So like, this sort of damage negation cancels out some of the damage he does, but he, still, he would still do more damage, you know, so... I guess there's that. Um, but yeah, the, the new Tarmil Salt is... or... Um, Holy Relic is pretty much just the green droll um, passive effect, so... It disables ultimate moves for two turns anytime a unit gets their ult to five orbs. Uh, I guess that's sort of good because, like in a team, in the Archangel team, you would have Tarmil here to remove ult gauges. So, but since you have this new Tarmil who doesn't have that effect, um, this sort of uh, Holy Relic becomes quite good then, I guess. Uh, the new Sariel gets a bunch of extra attack, or the old Sariel gets a bunch of extra attack. That's good. And uh, let's see this one. I forgot what this one does. Increase attack by 20% for one turn when inflicting damage and enemy skills. Okay, yeah. That's pretty good as well. <laughs> I guess if you have these two, that's going to be a pretty broken counter team. Or stance team, I guess. Um, Jormungand is getting put into the human giants and unknown tickets. So, yeah, this is good. If you didn't pull on the banner, and then you can get it from this. Uh, some... Whaley things here, we don't care about that. Um, some life uh, quality of life changes, that's whatever. Uh, yeah, here we see that um, they're changing the Arthur and uh, Milim ult. So, detonate damage is gonna do more damage, basically. The ult, um, and I guess this is like in the in the preparation for the upcoming slime uh, collab, which we actually got a teaser for. So this is a teaser. There's no sound. I guess there's no sound. <laughs> it's just this. <laughs> uh, but let's let's look at w what characters we have. So uh, obviously we have got Diane here. Um, we got Meliodas here with his weapon. I guess that's Gopher. We got King's weapon here. Maybe this is King's hand, and that's his weapon. Uh, I, I suppose this is Rimuru. That's his katana, right? With the shoulder strap thingy and the thing on the end. Uh, this here is probably Shuna, because that kind of looks like her hair. 
We got Milim here and I suppose Benimaru, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, Slam Collab coming soon to JP and in two weeks to Global, so... Yeah, I guess the leaks were true. <laughs> um, but yeah, should you... Uh, there's some more events, some free weapons for like uh, Adventure Arthur and Gloxenia. Um, you got that stupid hawk picnic table thingy. That's literally the worst hawk event. No one cares about that. Um, so yeah, then you get this thing where you can get some uh, pretty much free artifact cards. Like you'll do one of the events and you'll, you'll gather like these stones, I guess. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you, you can get them from uh, this. I think the shop and also maybe like the clear rewards. No, the clear rewards gives a Eskinor weapon. But yeah, you can buy buy them from the shop here. Um, so it's uh, you can buy eight of them, and they cost ten of these each. You can get eight uh, total of these, and with these you can like select which uh, rate ups or whatever you want. Uh, to have for like the different artifact sets that you were used to be able to get but you can't anymore so like this is quite nice uh, and you'll be able to get like eight chances to get whatever things you want so yeah we take those like we we'll gladly take those and that's it for this update here um but the banner let, let, let's just log into jp client and let's have a look at the banner Oh right, I have to download the patch. At least it's not going slow. <laughs> uh, but we'll also get this patch on global, where you have to re-download the whole game. Uh, the PC client here is 7.3 gigabytes. Mobile client, I think, is, is a little less than that. Um, but we'll get 100 gems for it, so that's kinda nice. So look forward to those 100 gems. Alright, so here we are. Let's have a look at the banner. Uh, the Tarmil banner. Of course we got Tarmil. Do, do keep in mind, it's just a 3% banner, so pulling any SSRs shouldn't like be... You shouldn't expect much, especially when it's like a 600 banner, so... Uh, yeah, don't expect much. And if you look here, uh, you got so many old units. And then you have like the four Archangels, which are fine, I guess. The new Sargal is good as well. Uh, you got this Danaphor Liz, I mean... Eh, uh, whatever. Yeah, this is just such a meh banner overall. Like, the only unit I kind of want is this Sariel here. Because uh, I have been 5-6 and it would be nice to have him 6-6. All others are 6-6 or I don't want them <laughs> to be 6-6. Like, it doesn't matter. This will never use these units. Maybe her very niche uses. Like, not anymore. You don't see her in PvP ever anymore. And... Um, because you just got Twee God with, with his Holy Relic and he taunts turn one, so. Yeah. Like, this banner is such a s absolute skip banner, and you're a massive idiot if you summon on it. So, that's why I'm gonna summon on it, because I'm a massive idiot, but. You know, I'll do it so you don't have to. But I mean, it's your gems, it's your money, uh, I'm not your dad, you can do whatever you want. Um, but I would recommend if you're free to play, like, completely free to play. Save your gems. There's so many better banners coming soon. Uh, we're we're having the slime banner uh, coming to global in two weeks, in just a few days on uh, on JP side on the 28th. Uh, it's gonna drop, and uh, yeah, we'll see the units just before then. I think like the 27th or so. Uh, we'll see what the new units do. do. Uh, we'll see if the old units get any nice holy relics or whatever. Uh, but yeah, the slime banner, I would suggest summoning on that, uh, if you're a collector type. Um, if not, and you kind of want this Tarmel, because yeah, his grace is broken. So do keep in mind that he could come to uh, the third anniversary, or the third JP anniversary. Because if you look here last year, on the 29th, so now the 28th, we'll have the collab banner. But we did have a collab banner back then as well. And what did we get after that? Well, we got Excalibur, Arthur, and then Purgatory Bond. For the second anniversary, this was such a stacked banner. Like, 
completely overkill. Uh, back then I was completely free to play, so I did summon for the Reezer, then I skipped the uh, uh, Zeldris, Festival Zeldris banner. Then I summoned for the um, Stranger Things collab. And I actually got all of these units, I got all of these units, I got Arthur, and then I got a 6-6 six, six Purgatory Bond in one rotation, that was crazy. But, yeah, these banners are gonna be so stacked, and we're, we're gonna have the JP 3rd uh, Anniversary coming very, very soon, in a month's time uh, on, on JP, and two weeks after that on Global. So, either summon for the Slime collab, uh, and then, or like if you want to skip that, then save for Purgatory Bond. But do keep in mind, we, 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 or not Purgatory Bond, but whatever. Uh, if it's going to be Mile, if it's going to be Bloody Liz, it's going to be one festival unit and it's going to be a massive banner. We could even see the new Tarmil there. Uh, that's what I would summon on uh, if, if you're free to play. Like if, you, if you're paid to win or whatever, if you're, if you're a spender on this game, even if you're a light spender, you. Do keep in mind how many gems you can get. Like if you buy the monthly pack, or if you buy the daily pack, or weekly pack, if you buy the Hawk Pass, like do calculate how many gems you can get in that month's time. Like if you can get 900 to get at least a full rotation on whatever new banner comes out, and that would be my suggestion. Uh, if you're for like, like, yeah, these, like even that could be a skip. Like my priority when it comes to banners, because I'm sort of a collector, like I want the units like I, I'll never ever be able to get again so like the slime collab like we don't know when it's coming back or if it's ever coming back and uh, like if you miss out it, it's, it's the whole fear of missing out thing for me uh, so I rate those banners the most and then of course there's the festivals um, especially second anniversary or second and third anniversary festivals those are gonna be so good and uh, I rank those just below like the collab banners and then at the bottom we have like these regular banners with um, like with this new Tarmil. Uh, it's just a regular banner. Just look at him. He's a Chad of course. He's Chad Miel and he will ever, forever be a Chad but he will be on other banners and even like the new festival that's coming out for uh, the third anniversary is gonna come out on future banners as well and also in the coin shop so you will be able to get him uh, but the slime collab banner like we don't know if it's ever gonna come back and like if you miss out on those characters especially if um the rimaru is completely totally broken like you would want to summon for him even if shuna is broken if their holy relics are broken in some way like even the old units could be good uh, but yeah i would suggest summoning for the slime banner uh, skipping this banner I, I will summon for it so you can see what a complete shaft banner this is i'm gonna get completely shafted and i'm just gonna laugh it off waste my 600 gems uh, i'll probably stop like say i get him in three multis i'll just stop if i'm getting close to like 300 or 600 here when i get him i'll just push like the last three multis or whatever and uh, just to get like one extra ssr but uh, yeah, you should stop. Like, the, the rates aren't worth it. And, like, if we look at the Jorn banner, I, I, I still don't have, like, you, this Bronhild, and I went 200 gems. Or I went two complete rotations, and I still didn't get her. I got 6-6 six, six Jorn. <laughs> what, what the hell am I gonna do with a 6-6 six, six Jorn? So, like, even chasing off banner units could be bad, and I guess that could be a reason why you maybe want to summon for him just to get him guaranteed. Because I didn't summon for Bronhild. Uh, on her banner when I could have gotten her guaranteed I saved my gems and I'm paying for it now but like that's not the case for most people like I've summoned on her banner or on whatever banner she's been on every single time and I've never gotten her uh, this is like green gopher all over again for me because I never got him as well and until I got him and I have him like 1-6 and that's it <laughs> but yeah I mean if you got like the worst luck in the universe and you kind of need to go for guaranteed then you so so want this but no he will be on so many other banners just like all the other archangels except for like the green sariel who was like never on any other banners except for this banner right no he wasn't even on this banner what banner was he on because i knew i had him three six i was one of the previous banners it doesn't matter I think that was like the only rerun he was he, he was on, but 
Like, they will be on the future, so... You shouldn't really have any fear of missing out on this. Like, the collab banner... Yeah, you're gonna have... If you miss out on that, then... I mean, if you're okay with missing out on that, then that's fine. But I mean, if the units are broken... Like, if, they're, if the Demon Lord Rimuru is completely broken... And if he's like a demon slash unknown character you can put in like unknown and demon teams as like the leaks or, or all leaks would suggest then yeah that could be so nice because you could put him on the assault melee team you can put him on like uh, the unknown team with merlin boosting unknown team's damage by 35 percent with their holy relic or and also have like ram boosting it by another 20 percent <laughs> like that could be so mega busted but yeah we don't know like you just just wait and see. Wait a few days. If, if you're struggling to like figure out if you're gonna summon for this banner, know that the banner is complete trash. Like the only good units are Sariel and him, of course, and of course the other Archangels, because their holy relics are also dropping and they're kind of nice, but like at this point, if you played for a while, you should have them, but uh, yeah, enough ranting. Um don't summon for this if you're free to play. Do whatever the fuck you want, really. Like it's your gems, it's your life. Do whatever makes you happy. If you if getting shafted makes you happy, go for it. <laughs> you have my blessing. Um, but yeah, I would really summon. I would really not summon for this. I would just wait and save my gems and summon for both the slime banner and then hopefully get like at least one rotation in on the anniversary banner in a month. Like you could get a couple of hundred gems in a month. That's very much doable. Because that's like four weeks and four times 60 gems for the PvP alone uh, yeah that, that, that's like so much so uh, and you'll also get a hundred gems uh, for like downloading the patches you saw me do earlier so but yeah anyway that's gonna be it for me sorry for the long video and i guess i catch you in the next one <laughs> bye